Boxing and Fitness in Craigieburn. Head coach, David Hill. He tipped the scales at 72 kilograms last night. Three fights, two wins, one loss. Black trunks with white piping, Joshua Butler. And across the ring in the red corner from Bendigo, part of Scott Tuttenham, Louis Carica and Skewy Swales. Top gym, we're called Tube Boxing. Two professional fights, both at Bendigo. One win, one loss at 71.15 kilograms, wearing, well, blue or black trunks with a touch of green. Ladies and gentlemen, former Carlton Eagle Hawk and Morong footballer, would you welcome Damien Locke in the red corner. Here's Ignatius Missolatus with referee's instructions. He's just typing up his glove. Mauve or something? Mauve. All right, guys, as I explained the rules, you need to change them. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves now. Good luck. Uh, doctor? As Ignatius Missalides, third man in centre ring. Just get the bucket off the He's ring, guys. He's about to get us underway. Thanks. Oh, you ready? You ready, Danny? Let's go. Footy, footy player Box. turn, pro boxer Damien Locke. Yes. Been a lot of that lately, Mark. Yep. The, uh, boys, uh, boys want to have a, have a crack in the, uh, in the boxing ring. Up against uh, Joshua Butler. Two orthodox fighters. None better than Anthony Mundine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And again, uh, two guys looking to uh, stake their claim in the pro ranks. Although Damien Locke, I'm not sure if he uh, if he had much of an amateur career at all, did he? He's played football, so I'm sure he probably didn't have a massive amateur career. But uh, gee, there's many traditional AFL football that's turned no, professional no, boxer. No, no more than the old days. Ambrose Palmer. Yep. Uh, one thing's for sure, Locke's certainly done the work. He looks to be in tremendous shape. There's he, good Nick. Joshua Butler. Black shorts with the white trim. Just the early feeling out process in the first Josh, round. Another ahead, fight man. scheduled for four rounds. And Jay, you were talking earlier uh, about your experience over in the States with some uh, some good sparring. Yeah, mate. Uh, we're talking about how Zarafa's gone over there to train with uh, Freddie Roach and the team at Wildcard. I was, I was lucky enough, uh, the promoter, Lyndon Hosking, took myself back. and the Maloney's to, uh, to the back, States. Back. I ended up uh, landing a paid sparring gig with Miguel Cotto over there. So uh, one of my heroes. Getting to work with him was just uh, it was a dream come true. I earned every cent, mind you. <laughs> but, uh, mate, that's, what, that's what's made me believe in myself. And uh, it's what made, me, uh, what made me take the oh. plunge to become a full-time fighter now, go, mate. It's given me the belief in myself, and I've got I'm Lyndon Hosking to thank for that. Box. Mate, what, a, what an awesome experience, you know, just to be in there. Like, the, that's, that's a fighter's dream, really, isn't it? Mate, oh, it, 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 it truly is, mate. It was, it was uh, an amazing experience, and even, even just the average fighter in those gyms um, will give you a good workout. But then to, to be in there while Pacquiao's getting ready for Mayweather and... Uh, Cotto was getting ready for um, for Daniel Gill. Just uh, something I'll never ever forget. And that uh, really just gives you that confidence now to push on and know that you've got it. You know that you've got you've got it within you to, to be up there with the uh, with the top ranked guys. Hundred percent, mate. You can mix it with those boys. You can mix it with anyone, and that's uh, that's what we intend on doing. I think, uh, as they say in any sport, you learn the most from uh, competing against someone better than yourself. So if, you, if you're uh, having easy wins, you're never really going to get that next step up. So uh, challenging yourself and taking on the, the big tasks is really what gives you the growth in, in any sport, I suppose. 100%, Hammer, you're uh, just spot on there, mate. You've got to, to be the best, you've got to train with the best. Well, back to the business in centre ring. These guys are certainly uh, putting the, the hard work at the gym. It's been a close first round, Peter. Oh, it has. As we saw in our previous no, no, fight, not a lot to split the guys after the first round. Filling our process. Lockie got a bit of a cut over the nose there. Got some bass there. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright. Now, let's get that heel up. Let's work off that jab. And then fucking right hands there. Go 
I want the jab right here. Double jab. Throw a couple of singles, then wait, throw one, and then a little second one, step in, run in. Right in. Right. So keep that. Jab, 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 throw one, then the next one, step in. And what we'll work on is the jab to that ball to the body. Look where his left hand is, bro. Right? He's going to try and block it with his left hand. Right. Some of the shots thrown in the first round. Both guys uh, crowding each other a little, perhaps. Nice stiff jab there from Locke. Second round, here we go. No holding, no holding. It's working. I suppose uh, one thing with the guys in the early stages of their uh, pro careers, they're that eager to get it on. They, they crowd each other and they don't give themselves enough room to right. work. Don't punch, boys. Don't punch. Yeah. What do you back. think, Jay? Is that right? Yeah. That's, that's the hardest thing is to um, is to get your distance because you, you are. You're just so eager to land those big shots and just you've only got four rounds to do it in. You, you, you're falling over your feet to get to your opponent. The hardest thing is to be able to relax in there, find your distance and your balance. And um, But it all comes with experience. And um, look, I think the boys are starting to settle into the fight a lot more now. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see some uh, bigger punches start flying soon. Now they've got their distance. Setting the jab is Butler. One, two from Locke. He's got a good stiff, short right hand, Locke, when he lets it's it go. It's working there, boys. It's working. Nice. Hey, let it go, boys. the boys let to go. work on the inside. inside they yeah. tangle up. Oops. Stand back, boys. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, trade of jabs. Jab for jab. They both eat one. He's got, he's got a bit of an unusual sort of clubbing motion as Damien Locke, but here comes Damien Locke going for the goal. <laughs> the former back, footy back. player. Okay, listen, listen. Break, stand back. Oh, listen. Back. Oh, it looks tough and, and durable, though, right? doesn't he? Oh, he wasn't hurt once, then. Yeah, he looks like a... a Guy that'll take a solid shot right, and keep coming. There we go. Nice jab again. He uh, possesses a nice jab, Damien Locke, when he uh, stretches no, that out and gives himself the range. Most important punch in boxing. Right, let it go. Let it go. Totally set up, sets everything off. Or oh, the one two. Again from Locke. Butler gets down nice and low. No holding, no holding, let's work in here. Sits on the front foot. Right, let it go. There is the head in. He likes to get on, uh, get in nice and close, Butler, but he's got to be working on the inside when it's in there. Clubbing right hand from Locke. He's really found a home no for that dogs. right around let's the ear there. Yeah, it just rolls it out over nicely. He'll cover, cover and bomb. Butler right, in a nice go, left hook there. So Butler just uh, all over him like a rash. Just sticking right onto that chest when he gets the opportunity and trying to make it a close in fight. I think on the outside, Damien Locke looks the, the cleaner of the two. He's, he's snapping out the punches nicely. That's, that's because of the jab. Hey, he's got a real nice left hand. First one, back to but, uh, Joshua back? Butler wants to turn it into a bit of a brawl. He's, he's bringing the pain, bringing the pressure into the second round. How did you see it, Pete? I scored that to uh, Locke. And yourself? Jake. Yeah, look, I'd have to score that one to lock too. Butler, Butler's putting the pressure on him, but he's just not letting his hands go in close. And then when you wait, he's throwing the jab and waiting for you to slip back. And when you're coming up, he's throwing the right hand. Right? Push him away. When he punches those jabs, so you kick your hand and push him away and come back to something. You've got to be first. It's all right. Are you fit enough to do it? You're fit enough to do it. <laughs> Sorry, mate, give us another bucket. We'll just push around it. Two more rounds, brother. Come push it out. All right? You've got to fucking work, bro. You've got to work. You'll be these last few rounds. Once again. We see Butler just get in and try and crowd Damien Locke. Locke kicking the punches from the outside when he gets a chance. He's got a bit of an unusual sort of clubbing right there as well, the DJ. Yeah. He does, he does. He looks like, um, yeah, he's, he's sort of crowded with that hook. A little bit more distance, you get a bit more leverage on that. Halfway down the duration. Another no, evenly matched no, fight to start the pursuit. Yeah, yeah geez. Right, let it go. There's nothing it's the first in these fights. Give, no the no give the match, give the matchmaker a pay rise, please. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, Joshua Butler. Nice jab there from Locke. Right, let it go, boys. I'd like to see Locke maybe just get up on the toes and just 
stick the jab out a bit more and yeah, be, be at, on the outside. At times he's shown a beautiful jab. Uh, it would be a lot nicer to see Hammy, especially um, as Butler, Butler's sort of leaning in on him. Yeah. Um, and he's sort of he's getting his weight right over his front foot, and no, from there you can't throw anything. So if Lock gives himself some uh, from some distance and pops that jab out, and no, follows up work. follows up with the right hand and straight down the pipe, not clubbing. Yeah. Uh, it'd be it'd be great to see to see him out there. Um, yeah, just on the bike boxing. I think he's reverting to that sort of clubbing motion with the right hand lock because he's, the range isn't there for him to extend oh, on it. Right. So stand back, stand back. You know, get, on, get on the bike and move around and just Box. have have that uh, nice long range availability put there for him again. You see that sort of short, sort of clubbing right hand. That's a little bit better now oh, from Lock. No, but geez, Joshua work, Butler is just on the front foot and just pressuring the whole right. way. There we go, boys. There we go. When he gets in though, is he doing enough? I don't think so, mate. Um, yeah, it's once again it comes down to that word again that we've that we've used in the first fight, and this one distance. Uh, it's very it's very very hard to, to gauge a distance in, in the, in the early there. stages of the career, but it'll all come with uh, experience. Damien Locker complaining of you got a few minutes. A low okay, blow. You okay? Just deep breaths, deep breaths. Unintentional, of course, from Butler. That was a low blow, right? If the next one happens, I will take a point off you, right? So keep punches up, okay? There's one thing you can guarantee you is that Ignatius right. will Bring take in, a point off. <laughs> Fine. Break. Once again, we're back to it. Double jab from Locke. Break. But Butler go. just uh, trying to get on the inside. No, Crowd, crowding no, Locke again is Break. Butler. Stop. Let it go. Let it go. Second warning for holding, okay? Two warnings. Oops. And uh, Ignatius Misalides dishing out the the warnings to Joshua Butler for holding. He wants to keep this one busy. He wants to keep it clean. Here, sort of pushing work, forward work. now, Butler. Back. There we go, boys. There we go. Back. Perhaps fatigue kicking in with Josh Butler. And that, might, that might be making him sort of getting close and hold on for preservation. He struggled to make weight last night, so that's probably an important boys, factor work, work. Yeah. in the fatigue. Well, it certainly kicks in that you know, I've seen some guys, you know, they have these ridiculous weight cuts, you know, to try and get some advantage, but they lose it. They lose that advantage when they uh, when they step into the ring. That doesn't apply to you, of course, Jake. Because no. you, know, you make the cut and then you deliver, and you deliver, mate. So it's all good. Always get the job done. We work hard for the whole 10 or 12 rounds, whatever it is, and uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys who, uh, who does have the ridiculous weight cuts. Now, these days, right, the guys go, are playing around with the water loading and stuff like that. Is that something that you do? Look, um, I, mate, I, I'm, I'm trying it all. We're, that's one thing we're trolling now is uh, nutrition. Fourth round, and it's going to be decision oh, time at the end of this one. If it goes to duration, once again, we're back into the clinching. Ignatius earning his money tonight, keeping him on, uh, keeping him broken and working actively. It's working there, boys. No hold. It's work. Faced with an opponent that has the strategy of Joshua Butler. Jade, what do you, go, how, do you, how do you turn go. that in your favour? You would you have to spin him around, get more mobile on his feet? What, what, would, his, what, would, you, what would you be doing? Um, yeah, more, more mobile. And like, like we said again, it's, once again, it's distance. Someone like that who's falling in, uh, he, his weight is predominantly forward. It's over his front foot. You just need to give yourself that room, and you've got to be able to count it. Off your back foot, as soon as, they, as soon as they lunge in, make him miss, make him pay. Then you want to cut your angle and go again. Nice one-two from Damien Locke. When he gets the opportunity to, to throw the shots, he right. certainly stop, does and stop, lands stop, stop, nicely. Stop, stop, stop. 
time. You over there? Over there? Come here, come here. Is that anything to worry about? This here? Yeah. No, that's... Um, so that's nothing to worry about? No worries. Ignatius. Time, ready? Missalini's taking Butler over to the dock, ringside, just to check on the concern with his ear. No, hold it, let's work in there. Once again, just pushing forward. <laughs> These guys just go, pushing go. against each other the whole way. Boys. Both guys have been really at it, though, with that pushing stake, haven't they? It's yeah. been a real sort of pushback, physical type of fight. Perhaps when, uh, when Butler leans on him, maybe spinning off to the side for, uh, for Locke could be a strategy, but when he's up against a rope, he's got nowhere to go, really. Once again, just leaning on him. Joshua Butler trying to get the shots away. Frustrating Damien Locke. Locke not able to uh, get anything clean away. Goes back to centre ring. That's where he wants to be sitting. There we go, boys. There we go. Watch your, stop, stop, stop. Watch your oh, elbow. It is when you quite nasty, that is, isn't it? Okay. I'm, surprised, I'm surprised it's not the left ear with those uh, little clubbing rights that Locke's been catching him with in the, in the ear for the, uh, for the whole there. night. That's three back there. Next one's a point deduction, okay? Yeah, it's a bit, uh, Could be a broken point. eardrum there too, Hammer. You think so, Pete? Could be. Yeah. Oh, those slapping go, punches are the ones that do break your yeah. eardrums. Definitely, uh, he's, got, he's going to have to have the ear syringe later. There's a bit of bleeding there. He's going to have to drain the blood out of it. No. Obviously, a phenom that's very common in uh, MMA. Final 30 seconds. Final 30 seconds is how Lee calls the boys up. And uh, Locke no, trying it's to get right. some distance. Joshua Butler just keeping the pressure on. Trying to get on the inside. Gets pinged with a short right hook. Locke now trying to be more mobile. Get his clean shots away. Let's be careful not to fall forward off his, off his shots because he's going to come into the range of Butler. Ten seconds, boys. Ten seconds. Trading up some good shots now, but once again, we're back in the clinch. Right. Let it go, boys. Let it go. Let it go. Ten seconds, boys. Let it go. Time. Well, a bit of a, uh, a wrestling torrent affair, that fight. How did you see it, Peter? I scored that to lock. I just thought it was just a touch more crispy and just a touch more sharper with his punches. And yourself, Jade? Yeah, sharper, cleaner work. Fox has come to centre ring to join referee Ignatius Misalidis. Our judges all had the same ballpoint pens. They all had the same score totals. Bartolo, Eddie and Bulna all had 40-36. Unanimous points winner, red corner, Damien Locke, the Carlton Blues footballer. How about that? Well, there you go. We've been redeemed.